Well, I wanted also to spend just a little bit of time talking about your uh, the uh, uh, <laughs> you've taken some journeys, but the uh, one here that's fascinating to me, the one to uh, Scotland, to a place that you where you know someone says we have a first folio, and you're thinking, uh, I just love it. I, I love your attitude toward this. I ha I have to go, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to disappoint a lot of people, and it's going to be a diversion from what I'm doing. It, it seemed very, very unlikely that that this would be an unknown copy uh, of, of of the first folio. Um, but yeah, I was persuaded to go up to Mount Stuart House, which has been the house of the uh, Marquises of Butte, um, who made a lot of money in building Cardiff do docks in South Wales, in their very splendid library. Looked at this a copy that was is a very interesting. 18th century copy it's split it's the only one I'm aware of that is from that time split into three volumes so split into comedies histories and tragedies that seems a way of making it a bit more like one of the 18th century editions and a little bit more portable a little bit more manageable as an object yeah. Yeah. so instead of being 900 pages long uh, it's sort of 300 pages so these much much slimmer volumes and with a an inscription at the, at the beginning from Isaac Reed who is a sort of marginal uh, 18th century man of letters saying he had it from uh, a man called John Henderson, who is very big in the in the trade of uh, what's called sophistication or vampment. That's to say, you know, making up uh, complete copies or good clean copies by breaking up dirty, dirty ones or, or washing and or washing them. So he's Henderson has got a good business in um, producing uh, nice folios, um, mashup folios, and and here's one uh, that that had belonged to Isaac Reed. So yeah, I was completely wrong. Um, but you knew uh, when you you knew when you saw the paper that something was going on here. That it was not a a 19th century uh, cheaper paper version. 